So a piece of good news that broke on Thursday night. Waterford Jewel star Mark Dalton is back home in Knockanore after spending four months at the National Rehabilitation Hospital in Dublin. Mark was involved in a car accident along with his twin brother Tom and three friends in Yall last December. He suffered serious spinal injuries and a GoFundMe page was set up to support his recovery and renovate his house. So to give us an update on Mark's progress, I'm delighted to be joined on the line by former Deja hurler Peter Queeley. And Peter, first of all, how is Mark at the moment? Yeah, he's very good, yeah. Good spirits. Uh, delighted to be home. You know, I, I thrilled with the, all the, the renovations and his, his new house, his new surroundings, his new bedroom and all that. So, um, getting out and about, you know, he's been in Yall a few times, gone shopping, met his friends and stuff. So, yeah, he's 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 very good, to be fair to him, yeah. Very, very good. And looking at the GoFundMe page, uh, Peter, it's raised over €317,000 so far um, like it was launched back in January um, can you tell us how that money has supported Mark and his recovery yeah look all all the interior had to be changed you know the the hallway was quite narrow so the whole the whole interior of the house had to be gutted um, all the rooms had to be changed um, then there was the, the wet room for, for Mark's you know the big thing for Mark now is, is sort of independent living and that you know so all the bathrooms and and all that were all changed. His bedroom then is is, you know, they've done a fabulous job in the bedroom with a lot of uh, electronic uh, voice control type uh, stuff. Um, there's probably a more scientific name for that now to most, but <laughs> don't ask me what it is. But uh, let's say uh, Alexa is doing a lot of work in in the house at the moment. So uh, the majority of it went went on the interior of the house. Uh, they're now looking at further down the line uh, in the next month or so. Mark is hoping to get driving lessons is in, in, in very soon. So it'd be a, a, a car then needed uh, that would be required for, for Mark's use then as well. Yeah, it's amazing that the work that's been done, Peter. And like this cause has really captured the imagination. Can you give us a sense of what sort of support Mark has got, not just here in Waterford, but right across the country? Yeah, and, and I think you, you encapsulated it there at the most by saying, you know, it's captured the imagination of, uh, you know, uh, not just here in Waterford, you know, obviously the, the support in Waterford has been phenomenal, but uh, it, it, it's gone far and wide and uh, Liam himself as a brother and a sister in America and the support from there has been incredible too. But I suppose the thing that, uh, you know, the thought has been steeped in, in GA tradition for years, you know, with Liam uh, playing for a number of years, uh, the GA community from all over Ireland and you know I suppose the one thing that I noticed was uh, you know when, when Tom and Mark lined out for the off finals last year in their preparation for the, the Munster Championship they would have played a lot of challenges against different counties and the support from all them different minor teams was was, was unbelievable and you'd see it coming up now and again in, in, in various uh, contributions on the GoFundMe page where uh, so and so a meet minor and then combined, you know, so other teams like Dublin put in uh, large contributions as well where they had their own fundraisers. So, you know, and then uh, one thing that uh, is nearly, uh, you know, Mark is very proud of out uh, in the house at the moment is his vast collection of jerseys. And he's had GA players from all over Ireland, the top names in GA that have not alone sent well wishes, but have sent on signed jerseys from like said, Limerick senior hurling team and Aaron Galan and Jason Ford and you know some of the Galway hurlers and you know that's that's you know that has been a something that uh, has really touched uh, Mark and Liam and Tom and Christine. Yeah, that's that's incredible to hear, Peter. Like how the GA community has really rallied around Mark and his his family at his at his time of need. And you're a, a close family friend. Um, of the Daltons out in Knock and Oar, and you're in constant contact with them. Um, with the GoFundMe page now closing up on on Sunday, Peter, is there anybody in particular that they would like to thank? Yeah, look, obviously there is uh, anyone that made a contribution, small or large, and and some are, you know, uh, very substantial contributions. You know, the uh, Liam and Christine and the lads would, you know, they're eternally grateful for anyone that made any sort of contribution. Um. The house outside is just, you know, the work that went in there was incredible. And, you know, again, a, a massive thanks there to the project managers and all the tradespeople that uh, put their shoulders to the wheel uh, during tough times. You know, you know, there was uh, 
the last five months haven't been easy for anyone and uh, the amount of work that went in out there was uh, in, in, in tough conditions in cold, wet, uh, winter months and stuff, you know. Um, you know, that there was phenomenal work within there. Uh, special mention too to, we mentioned it already, but all the GA clubs, you know, have, have been so supportive, not alone in contributions, but in well wishes and, um, you know, fundraisers and all that. And I suppose this is important when you mentioned GA clubs, there's a number of contributions and uh, fundraisers done by Camogie teams around East Cork and West Waterford, East Waterford, you know, and ladies football and, I suppose it helps in that scenario where uh, Mark's a good-looking chap, so maybe that was the reason for so many ladies' teams. Uh, mind you, he gets it from his mother now before he leaves us as well. So, um, I suppose a special mention to uh, Tomas for uh, Liam, Tom and uh, Mark's own club, Shamrocks. You know, from, from the word go, you know, I'd say from the 3rd of December on, doing as much as they could Uh you know, to help uh, the Dalton family in any way, you know, and even in the early days before GoFundMe was set up, you know, they had their own fundraiser and, and, and a lot of work that helped through the Christmas period, and, you know, when Liam and Christine would have been out of work and stuff, and uh, as well as putting their shoulder to the wheel, anything they could do around the house and help Liam and support Liam and, and Christine in any way, you know, so a special mention for them. Uh, the school have been unbelievable, you know, they they had their own fundraiser which uh, raised a lot of money. But I think also the, the, the moral support for the daughters and seeing all the blue, blue and white T-shirts around, you know, that would have that would have touched their hearts and given them a, a big boost as well, just when, I suppose, the timing of it was right, you know, that they go up and slow down and other than close to getting Mark home and then Easter comes and they're three weeks out from Mark coming home and they have this big uh, fundraiser and new jerseys uh, walking around everywhere so in his bid to get home and that so that was brilliant too and, and, and thanks to them uh, Liam and Christine would like to thank all their family and friends too you know um, family have been a huge support and, and brilliant and I suppose I, I just want to make a special mention here for Bodhi, Liam's niece you know I'm getting a lot of credit with GoFundMe but the the, the, the real driving force there was Emma you know um, she was she was the go between she did a lot of the work she did a lot of the emails and stuff and a lot of them nice pieces that are written about Mark were written by Emma, you know, and she, she's she been brilliant and a great support and a lot of work going on in the background too. And uh, as well as all other family members, Liam's family and, and Christine's family, you know, they've been brilliant and all the friends and that. So special thanks to them. And just uh, in general then, I suppose, all the well-wishers and, and, and messages that Liam and, and Christine have got. And, you know, the one word that's been used is overwhelming and I suppose I, I've never used it as much, you know, and uh, that, that does kind of uh, sum it all up. You know, they've been overwhelmed with all the support and return, return, eternally grateful for, for everyone and their help uh, at most.